Welcome to Office 2016, video number 42. Hey, in this video, we got to talk about Access 2016 and how to export data to Excel, a PDF file, and a text file. There's our three examples. We're going to be using the Export Group in the External Data Ribbon tab. All right, at our website, you download the finished file after our last video, video number 41. It's a zipped folder, so you have to download it and unzip it. Here's our Access database. And the first thing we want to do is we want to export the products table. And if I double click this, there's the table. We created this table to store the raw data with all of our data types and field properties so we get only useful data into our table. Now we want to export it to Excel. So over here in the navigation pane, I'm going to select Products Table. Then we go up to Export in the External Data Ribbon tab. And there's our buttons. Click Excel. It'll ask us where the location is. Now, I already defined this location. But I want you to notice that it automatically picks up the name of the table and adds the extension .xlsx. You can change that extension if you want. You can click Browse. And be sure to browse. Here's our Highline folder path. So we save it in our Access folder. I'm going to click Save. Browse. We got the location. We have the file extension. We don't need to export the formatting, but you could. I'm going to click OK. We don't need to save the steps. I'm going to click Close. And now when I look in Windows Explorer, there's my folder path. There's my Access folder. There it is, products.xlsx. Now when I double click to open this, now we could come over and change our column. Let's add our formatting, do whatever we want. But it is easy to export data from Access into Excel. Control S, I'm going to close this. Back in Access, we want to export the products table, but now we want to export it as a text file. Now, we talked about this earlier in the class, the way that databases or any data storage system can universally pass data from one system to another is by using text files. Now, we either have a text file that is tab delimited or comma delimited. We talked about this earlier in the class. Delimited means if I open this table, what character will separate each one of the fields? Now, when we use export to text, it's going to export it as a comma delimited text file. And we talked about this earlier in the class. We saw an example with tab delimited where we imported the data into Excel using Power Query. But here we are. We're at the database source. So being able to export text files is handy. I'm going to click that. It wants the file path. It has the same table name. But notice the extension, .txt. I'm going to click OK. Now here is our export text wizard, delimited. That's what we have. And you can see right here, there's the comma. That is the character that separates each one of the fields. I'm going to click Next. There's the comma. We could choose if it didn't guess right. I'm going to check Include Field Names on First Row. Then we can see there are the field names separated by commas. Click Next. That is the file path. I'm going to click Finish. And just as before, we don't need to save this. And just as before, when we go over to Windows Explorer, there's our products.txt. Now if I double click this, it'll open it in Notepad. Earlier in the class, we saw how to right click Open if we wanted to see this in Word. Now this text file can be imported into any system. Now the last thing we want to see over in Access is, and we could have done any one of these queries and sent it to Excel or a text file. But we're going to just show you that you can do either one of these objects. And I'm going to send it to a PDF file. So I've selected it. And now I'm going to click PDF. I don't need the file name to say 11. So I'm going to backspace .pdf. That's the file extension. The file path is correct. I click Publish. I don't need to save the steps. I click Close. Back in Windows Explorer, there's my PDF. 
So a report that we have, for example, we had a reorder phone list. You might want to send it and out as a PDF and email it to someone. I'm going to double click this, and there is our inventory report. Now if we close the PDF, there it is, inventory value.pdf. That was based on the query. If we go back to Access, we created an inventory value query, but guess what? We created a report. So no problem. We can take our formatted report and now use external data export and click PDF. There's the name, .pdf, the file extension. Ah, but wait a second. There's our folder path. There's our access folder. But I already have an inventory value, so I'm simply going to use Save As to change the name. And now when I click Publish, I click Close. I don't need to see the steps. Go back to Windows Explorer, double click, and there is our report exported as a PDF. Now let's close this. All right, that's it for video number 42. And guess what? This is the last video in this Office 2016 series. We actually had 42 videos. This is a list of all the videos we covered. Windows Explorer, Word, PowerPoint, mostly Excel, and even some Access. Now if you're finished with this Business 216 class, and by the way, there is the link to get you to the YouTube site with all 42 videos. Here is the Highline website that has all of the videos also. If you have completed this class, you can now go on to Business 218 Spreadsheet Construction, that's what it's called at Highline. At YouTube, the playlist is Highline Excel 2016 Class Comprehensive Excel. There is the YouTube link. There is the link to the Highline Class website. All right, that was a lot of fun learning Office. We'll see you next video series.